Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these majestic seed beads earrings. Please subscribe, also like, share and comment, in this way you give me signals to continue with my beadwork. Check description for a full list of materials, other useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description and at the join button. Now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are 5 colors of 11 ounce seed beads, white, pink, turquoise, purple and iris. I also use earring findings. This is nylon nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size D. This is size 11 beading needle. You could use size 10 or 12 with the smaller sizes. It's easier to work. And these are scissors. And now I'm going to take a little bit more than an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up six of those beautiful pink beads. And I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is a knot and I make it by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made. Then I gently pull and then I will make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. Okay, then what I want to do is to go through two beads in this direction. And I'm taking a turquoise, a purple and a turquoise. And I'm going back in circle through this pink bead. Then I'm going in the next pink. And in this step I take only turquoise and purple. And I go in this turquoise and in the pink bead. Okay, this is what I do. And when I pull, I have two similar shapes that share one bead in the middle. Then I go in the next pink bead. Again, I take the same thing, turquoise and a purple. And I go back through this turquoise. And in this step, I also want to go not through one, but through two pink beads just to save time. Okay, when I pull, I'm in a position to pick up my next beads. Okay, here they are. Again, a turquoise and a purple. I go back like this, like I showed you before, through this pink and through the one after that. I take again a turquoise and a purple. I go back through the previous turquoise and through the next two purple beads. Here I have my knot, that is why it's a little bit more difficult to go through this one. And now I have this. And in my next step, guys, what I want to do is to go in the next turquoise then I'm going to take just one purple and I'm going through the previous turquoise and through the pink in the center. And I'm pulling using my pliers because here is my knot. Okay. Now I have this in my last step I added just purple because I had two turquoise touching each other and I needed a purple in the middle because I'm making one and the same shape but it goes in circle and all of its elements share beads. Okay, now I need two white beads and I'm going in the next purple, two white beads again go in the following purple 
too wide. Go in the purple again. And I'm going to repeat it until the end of this row. Okay, now I have this. In my next step, I'm going here in the white bead and I'm taking one white and I go in the next white. Then I take one iris bead, go in the next white as well. One white, go in the following white one iris go in the next white one white go in the second white one iris go in the first white one white go in the next white that's on my way and I'm going to continue these guys until the end of this row. And here I am where I'm adding my last iris bit and then I also went through these two white beads and now I'm exiting through the white that is sticking out the most. Okay and I need five pin beads and I'm going in the next white that is sticking out the most. Five pink. Next white that is sticking out. Five pink and next white Okay, and I'm going to continue these three more times and I'll meet you here. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last five beads from this row. And now I will make an additional step. I will make angles. How I'm doing them, I'm going through two pin beads. I'm skipping the bead that is on my way and then I go through the next two beads and also through the white after that. Okay, I pull and when I pull and push this central bit uh, a little bit to this side I have a beautiful angle here. Then I go through two pin beads. I skip the central bit that's on my way and I go in the next two pinks and the white after that. And when I pull I have an angle. And now I will repeat this, two pink beads, skip the one that's on my way and go through the following two. Now off camera I will form the other three angles here and I'll be back to tell you how we continue. Okay my friends and here I am where I'm forming my last angle. Now in my next step what I want to do is go through these three pink beads exiting out of this angle that I created and I need seven of those beautiful turquoise beads. Okay you see here are seven and as I'm exiting from this angle I'm going in the next angle. Then I need seven again and I'm going in the following angle and seven go in the next angle and off camera I'm going to continue these three more times and I'll meet you here okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last seven beads from this row now what I want to do is to create another angle and how I do this, I go through three beads this time. 
I skip the middle one of those seven that I added in my previous row and I go in the next three. This is similar to the angle that I did with the five beads in the previous row. But now here I'm going to take one iris bead and then I go in the next three turquoise beads. Then I'm going to skip this bead in the center to form an angle just like this and I pull and I take another iris bead and I go in the next three skip the angle go in the following three and add one iris go through the tree and skip here the angle okay and I'm going to continue these guys until the end and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am at the end of this row where I'm adding one iris bead then what I want to do next is go here and exit out it out of this angle and I want to add three iris beads and I go back through this angle like this then I want to go through as many beads as I can in this direction and my goal is to reach my next angle then I need three go back and through all of those beads in this direction and I'll show you one more time exit here take three iris beads go back like this then form uh, these shapes here here and here and I'll meet you okay my friends and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row just like this then I want to reach here this middle iris bead I take three iris beads and I go here in those beads then in the third one three again go in the middle one three go here first through these two and then through this one three go through the middle one three go in the next two and this is guys what I'm gonna be doing until the end of this row it's really easy and pleasant I'm just filling in the gaps with three iris beads okay I'll finish this off camera and I'll meet you here okay guys and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last three iris beads from this row then in my next step what I want to do is go through all of those beads and exit at this angle I take three white beads I go back here like this okay and in my next step I'm going here through the angle as well through the inner angle and through the following bead and I'm taking three white beads and I go back through this 
previous bead just before the angle and through the angle one more time. Okay, now I have this. Then what I want to do is go through all of those beads and exit at the angle here, the outer angle. And take three white beads, go back through this outer angle and here through all of those and through the inner angle if you can in one movement then go through the following bead take three white beads and go back like this through the bead before the angle and through the angle so in this row guys i'm going to add three white beads at the outer angle and three at the inner angles everywhere so i take three go back like this and i reach here if i can in one movement the inner angle and i pull then i go through the following iris bead take three white beads and i go back Okay, and I'm going to finish this row and when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, and now I have three white beads. At the last angle, I'm adding them. Now, what I want to do Is to reach one of my next white beads that are sticking out let's say this one I'm taking five purple beads five of those and I'm going in the next white that is sticking out Then again, five. Go in the next whites, five. Go in the next white. And that is it, guys, for this row. I'm going to add five beads everywhere, connecting the white beads that are sticking out. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and absolutely the same way, I added five beads everywhere. Okay, now what I prefer to do is to flip my work like this, because it's easier for me to go in this direction. And now I'm going to do the following thing. I'm going through this purple bead here, taking three iris beads. And I go back through the purple before the white and through the purple after the white. So purple, white, purple. I go like this and I pull. Okay. In my next step, I'm going through the four purple beads that I have here. I take just one iris bead and go in the next four purples okay after that i go through the purple white and purple take three iris and go again back through the purple white purple then I go through the four purple, one iris, and if you can, in one movement, go through all of those beads, the five purples, the white and the purple after that. This is just to save time. If you want, you could do this in two or more movements. Then I take three iris beads, 
go back like this and I can go through all of those bits to exit at the angle where I need to add my last, my next iris bit. And here in this direction through as many bits as I can and I need to be through the purple which is after the white. Okay, here I add three back in circle, one, three, one, three, and I'll meet you here at this point. Okay, my friends, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last bead on this row. Then I go through all of those beads in this direction. Okay, like this. And I want to reach this bit that is sticking out and I'm taking four iris beads and I go in those three here that I have and I take four iris beads again go in this middle one okay four again go here four beads And I'm going to add four beads everywhere, just filling in the gaps. If your beads are different size than mine, maybe you should add five or, or four again, I don't know. But uh, you try it and you decide which number is the best. Okay, I'll continue and when I'm up to here, I'll be back. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last four beads from this row. Again, I'm going here in the middle to fill in the gap. And then I want to exit here through the middle of those three beads that I added here at this part, if you remember. These are the three beads that I added above this tree. And now I'm exiting out of the middle one of them. And I take one iris, my earring finding, and one iris. And I go back in circle through this middle bead. Okay, then I'm going to reinforce it. then I go in this direction and I want to exit at one of my angles and here I will make a knot and I will cut my thread okay and I could continue some more in this direction and repeat the knot make a loop, go twice through the loop, I may pull and then go through some beads in this direction and I cut this tail thread here and now this is what I have. 
Okay guys, and now my majestic seed beads earrings are ready, so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, subscribe with the bell if you still haven't, also like, share and comment, in this way you give me signals to continue with my work. Check description for useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. And you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description and at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.